Welcome back everyone. In a previous video I showed you how to install Olama on Ubuntu so you can run your own language models locally. Today I'm going to show you how to install a web user interface. Olama by default runs in your command line, works, but it doesn't look pretty. There's a nice web user interface someone made for Olama that looks like this. So I'm going to run through the steps and see how easy or not it is to install. So it looks pretty straightforward. I mean, we have a git clone. Okay, got that part down. We're going to cd to Olama UI. Run mate. It needs to be compiled. And it looks like we're running already. Look at that. So we're running a local host on port 8000 in the web browser. Local host port 8000. And over here on your model, it lists all the models that are installed already. So in this case, I don't know, we'll pick Mistral. Um, we'll ask my favorite question. What is the average distance from the Earth to the Sun? Oh, pressing Enter seems to go to a new line, so I'll have to click the Send button. And look at that, it works. I mean, we're up and running in seconds. It's pretty cool. So, if you haven't wa already watched the video about how to get a llama running in Ubuntu, you should watch that, then get this installed, because this interface looks much nicer than doing it through the command line. If you already have a llama UI installed, and you want to just run it, you go into the Olama UI directory, and it says run locally shell script, and that'll get you going. There you go. Well, thanks for watching. If you found this valuable, I hope you like and subscribe. It's a relatively new channel, but I'm going to be doing a lot about running your own Llama models, either on your own Linux computer or in certain cloud systems that are relatively simple and inexpensive. So I'm going to be doing this about once a week. So far, I've been doing it every weekend, and that's the plan. So I appreciate your time. Thank you.